well-deserved standing ovation. Magical by Baez. Baez trying to score! Hey everyone, I'm Dan Plezak and welcome to MLB The Show. MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Chicago White Sox. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Lucas Giolito is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Southsiders. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that uh, he's a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Barehanded at his knees. In the dirt. And, oh, he can't quite dig it out. Hey, I know everybody was on their toes right there from the pitcher to the defensive side. Leadoff hitters are known for this. Find ways to beat the ball into the ground and beat it out and get on base. Now they have to keep him in check. Let's see if they hold the runner close. Mike Trout swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. swinging strike and now it's 0-2. Giolito has found success in his career at limiting base hits. He usually turns in outings where his hits per nine numbers are really respectable and obviously that goes a long way as a starting pitcher. Matty V, there's a couple of things that really hurt you when you're a starting pitcher. Walks and giving up many base hits per nine innings. This guy keeps the ball in play, doesn't give up a lot of hits, doesn't walk very many batters, and when you do that, it's a good recipe for success, and it's worked for him so far in his career. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. Lastella over at second. Trout on at first with nobody out. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. 
I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. 0-2 oh count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Here's Albert now, and on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Looking at his career totals, Pujols continues to climb the all-time home run leaderboard. He's up over 650 at this point. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two, the pitch. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Angels strand a couple. Time for the White Sox to go to work. No score. Shohei Otani is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Angels. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, when you look up the word dependability in the dictionary, you'll find a picture of this guy. Career ERA just under 3.5, and that's saying quite a lot in the high-scoring games that we see in baseball going on right now. Real solid pitcher, controls the running game, controls the strike. Oh, look at LaStella. He is out. Batting second, the third baseman, Yohan Moncada. Striding into the box, Yohan Moncada. Here comes the first pitch. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Well, the way things unfolded, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion.